greetings this is dr sakive i would like to demonstrate the binary research as you know the binary research is one of the topics which is coming under problem solving and python programming of ge 3151 binary search is a very important searching algorithm in our previous video we discussed linear search the linear search has its own drawbacks to improve its performance especially searching speed uh, introduced binary search as far as binary search is concerned it is functioning based on the assumptions that or the requirement is that in a list all the elements to be in sorted order that is a very important one sorted order means in ascending order whereas in this uh, linear search that is a uh, uh, content is not required as sorted order so that is a first important conditions in this binary search based on that assumptions only binary search is functioning and as far as binary search is concerned it has the feature like divide and conquer approach it is a very important efficient approach reason because because of this ideas it is reducing search space by half with each iteration for example let us consider the list content is 2 uh, crore elements by divide and conquer 1 crore element is going to discard after certain condition so that is the reason why all the what is called uh, 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 elements of need no need to search to find out whether the particular number is available in binary search or not that is the reason why so this divide and conquer is considered one of the best mechanisms to improve searching efficiency searching performance by binary search so the two points are very important one as far as binary search is concerned it should be sorted list and the second feature is divide and conquer feature as i told you so that is the advantage of this one during a demonstration you can understand the efficiency of the binary search as far as binary search is concerned so please understand okay this is the uh, list the list consists of different elements according to this example so x is the name of this list and x of 0 11 is stored x of 1 22 stored x of 2 33 stored and so on so forth and x of 9 999 is stored so totally consists of 10 elements stored in this list of the name x now i wanted to find out a particular number is available in the list or not for this purpose we are using binary search i already told you binary search is functioning under the logic of divide and conquer for example for understanding purpose let us consider the element 99 okay is available in this uh, list or not just for understanding purpose so before executing the task the binary search has a three processes okay or the three assumptions the so number one is it is considered as a one variable low okay x of zero values stored in this low and the highest what is called the uh, index for example according to this example x of 9 is considered as a high so two variables low x of 0 and high x of 9 and after that it is calculating on the mid value so calculating mid as mid equal to low plus high by 2 so sometimes we can use as what is called floor division also you know very well floor division it is not considering fraction for example uh, 5 by 2 is a 2.5 so that is a floor division will take 2 only instead of 2.5 so here we can put floor division also so for example according to this example low is x of 0 high is x of 9 and mid is 
zero plus nine by two, four point five. So that is a five. Mid is equal to five. It is take. Or can take that is a four also. So according to this example, okay, that is a ten. Okay, so that is zero to nine ten. Okay, so that it is taking mid as five. So like this, binary research is calculating low, high, and mid before starting the task. So this is a very important step we wanted to understand. So based on this, so I would like to execute how that binary search is working. So let us consider this is a new values I entered. This is uh, this example for understanding purpose and this uh, what is called uh, values I am using for demonstration purpose. Let us consider a list. The list storing 0, 5, 9, 14, 39, 40, 52. Means that so x of 0, 3 is there, x of 1, 5 is there, and so on and so forth. So x of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. X of 6, okay, 52 is there. Okay. Before searching, it is ensure that everything in this ascending order. Yeah, elements are in ascending order. It is confirmed. Now, okay, binary search is going to execute. So based on our discussions, low, high, mid will be calculated. Which is a low, x of 0 is a low. And x of 6 is a high. And mid also calculating. So that is 0, 1, 2, 3. Isn't it? So this is a mid value calculated. You know very well. Low plus high that means 0 plus 6 okay so uh, 0 plus 6 by 2 so 6 by 2 is a 3 so 0 1 2 3 so 3 is calculating as a mid value after that okay which number you want to search so see please understand mid is so 3 that is x of 3 then after that okay which value you wanted to find out for example, so let us consider, okay, so mid value for example 14 I wanted to uh, search, let us consider. So that is uh, 14 is I am taking as a K, so 14 equal to mid values, mid value is also 14. So 14, okay, I wanted to search and the mid value is 14, so that the condition is true, so without any further execution, the binary search algorithm will tell that okay 14 found in the mid position so mid position means like 5 okay like this it will display and the search will be stopped let us consider okay so the k value is less than mid value for example so i wanted to search that is a 5 so that is a 5 okay is less than mid value 5 means what x of 1 okay 5 is less than 14 if this condition is satisfied very important one here okay initially i told you x of 0 is low and x of 6 is high now it is changed as if this condition is satisfied for example so here i considered k is 5 so 5 is less than mid value mid value is 14 okay that is 5 is less than 14 the condition is true if the condition is true high mid value becomes a high value so what's the meaning of that mid value becomes a high value that means okay the binary search will search from x of 0 to okay this value only till this 14 so it won't consider these values so this is called divide and conquer approach understand so as this condition is satisfied the binary algorithm won't search beyond this mid value all these values won't be search mid values okay 14 okay till this number only only this red color number only will search so that is a divide and conquer because of this okay it is a faster searching uh, performance let us consider okay that is a two crore number this side one crore this side another one crore so this one crore numbers won't be searched please understand this is the efficiency of binary search let us consider okay so that is i wanted to search the k value the k is greater than mid i told you okay 5 i want to search instead of that let us consider 40 i wanted to search 
so now okay 40 is greater than mid here okay this condition won't be satisfied 40 is less than 14 so it is false so that this part won't be said or this part won't be ignored here okay that is a 40 is greater than mid that means 40 is greater than 14 the condition is true means that okay this part will be discarded and this part will be searched so before searching one small updation what updation this condition is satisfied okay low becomes okay mid plus one so what is the mid value okay this is x of 0 1 2 3 isn't it mid value is x of 3 so here okay the mid value becomes low that means mid plus 1 okay mid plus 1 is 39 so this becomes low as far as high is concerned same values same values okay so understand okay these two conditions are very important before searching okay divide and conquer methodologies binary search will decide this first part wanted to execute or the second part as far as first part is concerned it is retaining low and high is updating that means mid value becomes a high if this part wanted to search according to this condition if the condi this condition is satisfied the higher part next to mid value wanted to search at that time it is retaining high values and the low index value is updated how it is updated low equal to mid plus 1 so this is a mid okay so mid plus 1 is 39 so 39 from onwards it is a searching so this divide and conquer methodologies so that binary search according to this condition it is decided whether the first part he wanted to search or the second part he wanted to search okay so further it is a looping okay so further okay it is also it is divided as a two and then it's a low part high part and like this so by iterations it is a finding whether the number is available or not so that is the reason why the binary search is an efficient search it is not verifying all the elements according to this condition okay that 50 percent of the first part is verified or that is the second part is verified luckily okay that is a mid bar to the value i wanted to search immediately it will display so this is the basic concept of binary search okay and that is another example also given okay this is the whole values that uh, elements are stored imagine that 46 i wanted to search so mid value is calculated 32 okay so that is uh, 46 is less than 32 it's finding no so that is the reason why higher part is searching so it is so what so already we discussed so no need to discuss again and again this is another example okay so with this idea the binary search is functioning so now i would like to focus a program very important one i am using a function binary search okay initially how the program is running so i am creating one list okay list name is a r r so here okay i stored certain elements then after that which number you wanted to search okay for this purpose i am using this line so here you can type okay which number you wanted to search you can type what is 11 or 22 or 33 or any number or not available of this number also you can enter so already we have explained the meanings of what is called the int of input in the previous uh, what is called my videos if you have any doubt on this you can watch those videos once again explaining so that is whenever entering any values from keyboard python will consider as a string the string wanted to convert it into integer for this purpose i use the int of input this values okay now i entered which number you want that is search then after that it is a calling uh, this next line so next line using a function the function is array values this array value will pass then after that low is zero then after that uh, maximum high high is array length so that length of array i use then which number you want to search so all these values okay forwarded to the function because binary search i'm using a function okay so it's a regressive function also okay it is calling this function so what values in the passing all the array values 
and the zero is assigned to low and the array length okay it is assigned to high and which number you wanted to search it is assigned here okay then after that as i discussed okay it is a calculating if a high is greater than or equal to low okay it is calculating mid values because why the condition is okay that is at least one number to be there for this purpose so mid values i calculating i already explained to you high plus low it is called floor division by 2 floor division you know very well it is ignoring fractions for example 9.2 okay that is a value is 4 not 4.5 Okay, so for this purpose and like that, okay, it is executing, okay, if x equal to uh, argument of that is array of mid, isn't it? So, x means which value wanted to size, okay, so that is equal to that is mid values, immediately it is re returning that values. Otherwise, if x is less than what is called mid value, okay, I told you the first part will be executed, no? first part will be executed. Uh, once again, I am showing this output. Okay, if low means first part will be executed, so I am retaining a low. Okay, high becomes okay mid. See here, that is the code I am using here, so you can understand. See here, okay, that is array. I am retaining a low. Then after that, see very important. Okay, mid value is passing to high values. So that is array same values. Low I am retaining. Okay, that is, I am using a mid. So, which is the mid value? Mid value, I am passing to high. That is, high equal to mid. And then same x, okay, I am executing. In otherwise, for example, searching value is greater than what is the mid content. Then, I told you, see, one second, I am showing this uh, diagram. Okay, this, this part is there. I am retaining high and low value, okay, it is updated to mid plus 1. So, this is a low, no? So, that is this mid plus 1, no? Mid plus 1, okay, is a low. That means from this location onwards, wanted to search. Okay. So, you understood? I hope so. Okay. See here, the condition is array, the same for forwarding. Instead of low, simply see here mid plus 1. So, mid plus 1, okay, 1 index, that value is assigned as a low. You understood? Then after that, I am retaining a high. Then after that, okay, x value. So like this, okay, with the three, what is called the conditions. One is the searching number is available in mid. Or the searching number is in the first part before mid. Or the searching number is after mid. Okay, so three parts within the three locations. Okay, three group of locations. Okay, the searching number can found. So, this is the idea. So, the first part or the second part. That means, this will be executed before mid. This will be executed after mid. So, because of this binary search, okay, that is numerous for a divide and conquer methodology. I already told you that the principle is following here. So, that the uh, no need to search entire elements. Okay, with 50% of searching of the elements, okay, we can find the number. That means, for example, 10 crore elements and all there, I need to uh, search only 5 crore. 20 crore elements and all there, okay, I can, I need to uh, search only what is called 10 crore. So, please understand, 50% of what is called the elements, no need to search during each iteration. That is the great strength of binary search. So, with this, okay, you can uh, implement what is called binary search and already this program is uh, demonstrated when it's running, okay, so that is it will ask which value you wanted to search, okay, for example, 55, okay, 55 means, uh, okay, that is 0th position, 1st position, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, so 4th position, 55 is available, so see the result, so in this index 4, okay, that is 55 is exist like that, we will get output. My dear participants, so this is the concept of binary search. So I demonstrated what is called the theory as well as a program. Please understand the logic and perform very well at university examination. If you have any doubt, again watch the videos to understand clearly. Okay, so that 
you can understand mina research very clearly and you can perform well at the university examinations my dear participants all the best do well thank you very much for watching this video